today, we're building a no game pass suburban house in Bloxburg. So what I learned from our first no game pass house is that when you exit build mode with advanced placement turned off and then you go back into build, it turns it back on. That was one way that I was messing up the challenge. Another thing that people were telling me is that roofs cannot be resized. I'm not sure why they were saying that. I was watching like no game pass speed builds and I see them like resize the roof and it's a no game pass house. I'm gonna resize the roof because everybody else who does no game pass also resizes the roof. I don't think it's breaking the rules. Uh, like we were saying, so advanced placement is turned off. We cannot use the scale tool. We cannot resize anything. We can change the grid, that's fine. We cannot place pillars after the walls without advanced placement. It just doesn't let you place it. What you have to do is sort of place the pillars before you place the walls and outline the room like that. I wanna do a sort of suburban house and I'm doing it next to our previous no game pass house. It's like a no game pass plot. Another thing is that we cannot go up or down any floors because that's using a game pass. So I know that I want a wall here. I think let's create a bump like this, which means we need a pillar. Oh, I have to get rid of that wall, which means we need a pillar here and here. Now let's place the walls again. I can definitely see this being like a bedroom. We could put a pillar over here and close this. That's gonna be like our kitchen. It's gonna be a bedroom. Actually, it's a little too small for a bedroom, right? Let's delete that wall. Let me just put another pillar here. Two by two bathroom in this area. I think our living room can be about four blocks wide here. We could have our TV in this spot. Since our kitchen is here, what about the dining area? I guess this could be the dining area. We're gonna create one final sort of bump out over here. And I think we have everything we need. Entryway, kitchen, bedroom, bathroom, living room, dining area. We're gonna grab the traditional front door. Oh, I wanted to create a porch, but I can't. I guess I'm gonna use this floor to create a sort of porch like this. We can color this concrete. We could have some potted plants here and here. Oh no, I cannot connect these, can I? How are you meant to like close this? Whether you put a pillar after, how does that work? Oh, okay, interesting. What? I'm gonna try to be a little smarter about this issue. How am I supposed to do this? I really wanted to put a fence here, but it won't let me. I could still use the fence over here. Now I'm just gonna grab this compact bush. Okay, I can't resize it, but I do wanna create variety. Maybe I could just use this hedge. No, no, this round bush needs to be at like the front of the house. Can I use this? I know I can't resize it, but I can like place it twice. <laughs> Same thing, right? We could put a blossoming bush like here. Yeah, that could look nice. I'm just gonna put a floor here. I'm gonna color it grass, make it brown so it looks like dirt. Nice. We still need to do the roof, which people keep telling me I cannot resize. As far as I know, I can custom place this roof. So I got that going for me. Let's see what automatic sort of roof Bloxburg is gonna give me for this house. What? It's glitching out. Why is the roof reaching this point? I don't want the roof here. I know that I want this gable roof and I wanna create this other gable roof next to it. I think this turned out good. I like it. Something that people were telling me is that yes, I can place a pillar underneath the roof. I just need to hide the roof. Oh, hey, they're right. I like never use these stone lines ever. I don't know, do you use this in a suburban house? I hope you do. It always kind of freaks me out. I feel like I'm not gonna do a good job with it. Now I'm gonna put some wall trim and I'm gonna make this wall trim brick. I really like this design. I've been like messing around with it because it looks nice. Should I use more brick up here? Oh no. Do I just make it smooth plastic because it's like glitching out? I think I might have to and I don't want to. I'm gonna use the mowed grass pattern. I just basically wanna put it out here at the front. Why is this happening? It's not doing the stripy grass the way I want it to. I'm just gonna ignore it, it's fine. Now, since it's a suburban house, we're gonna grab these traditional windows. Now see, I'm remembering the fact that our fences cannot touch pillars. Oh, what? Didn't I have an issue with putting pillars the other day? I'm confused. Some fences are okay and other ones are not. Picket fence is so classic suburban. I think the backyard's gonna be basic like this. Nothing too crazy. I'm gonna put a tree. I was doing the windows, I forgot. Oh no, what? No, the walls. Oh no, if I delete them, I have to place the pillars again. Maybe just one window. I hate it. Okay, maybe the window's on the side. We can cover this up. It's not gonna look so weird anymore. Just put a tree. It fixes everything. Should I continue this fence here? It won't let me. Because of the trash, is that why? I hate this trash. It's always in the way. We're just gonna move this mailbox here and continue the fence as I wanted it. Can I put a gate on it? It should be, should be fine, right? Picket fence gate. Oh, that's so cute. Now that our windows are placed and our doors are recolored, we can do our floor. Here's our wood grain floor. Very cute. Oh, I should add wall trim in here. We're gonna put the flat baseboard. Oh, we need an entrance to the bathroom. Not a front door entrance. I can't believe I used to build houses without wall trim. I like looked at a couple of my older videos and I was like, where is the wall trim? What are you doing? To this day though, I'll still forget sometimes. I'm also gonna give them this flat crown molding at the top. I keep checking over here to make sure my advanced placement is off. So for lighting, what can we use for a suburban house? Maybe if we search traditional, we'll find some options. Oh, I don't like these. Maybe they'll be nice in a traditional house. I can recolor. Recoloring is fine. I'm not gonna panic about recoloring stuff. I think I'm also gonna grab this square floor lamp. I feel like it's suburban. I'll place it in the bedroom. I'll also place it over here near our dining area. For the kitchen, we'll make it a little fancy. Even if it's suburban, we can do a little, little fancy and use the cylindrical 
vertical pendant, which we cannot resize, but it's okay. I think I'll just put three. That's kind of a nice accent wall. I think I'll also try using that same wall inside the bedroom. We can start placing some furniture. So we're gonna start here with our entryway. I'm gonna use this fancy dresser. I'm gonna put it right here. We'll try to put the bench here. We need an umbrella stand for sure. And we're also gonna put a hook rack. Oh no, can we do the towel hack? We can't do the towel hack. Okay, well, it's fine. It's fine. Wait, did it place? Oh no, okay. It placed near it, but not on it. Just because we can't place the towel on top of this hook rack doesn't mean we shouldn't use it. Oh man, I'm really wondering how we're gonna do the living room now. <laughs> Cause I wanted the couch to be here, but maybe that's not gonna happen. I think I could use a room divider to sort of help with the couch area. I'm gonna put two photo frames here with a candle in the middle. And then we can grab this room divider. I hope we can place it so we can separate the living room and the entryway. This is the entrance to the living room. And this is just because I forgot to put a wall. <laughs> I think that helps. I don't, I don't think it does. All right, we're gonna just keep trying. We'll use the transitional armchair. I'm gonna put it here and I'm gonna put another one near the toilet. I know that's weird. I know, it's okay. We're gonna do that. So you have two seats here. Now I'm gonna use this rustic TV stand. I'm gonna place it carefully because the window doesn't want it next to it. And we're gonna put this AccuSlim TV on it. Please let me place, okay, great. I put these two paintings here in the painting stand. I can't resize any of these things. So I'm trying to be careful with how I place them. Slippers at the front door. Oh, we can actually like sneak it underneath this bench. I was actually thinking that we wouldn't be able to place them, but we can. See, advanced placement is not on. We could also grab a floor plant like this one. Please let me place it. It places. Let's put a welcome mat at the front. I feel like that's so classic for suburban houses, a little welcome mat. Now it's a little empty on the walls. I know I can't resize any of these shelves. I think I found something that might work. This simple corner shelf kind of fits there if you're careful. Can I put another one? Yes, I can. I guess I could use these speakers next to the TV. Can we put some books underneath here? No, the books don't fit in here. Oh no, I'm feeling regret. We can put plants in here. I'm gonna use this contemporary end table. Oh, it looks a little awkward, but pushing things around is not easy here. Look at this. I see that there's space. Let me place it. Maybe that person doesn't get an end table. You're causing me too many problems. <laughs> Grab a vase, put it here, and maybe we can put some roses because roses are cute. To top it off, I want to put this vine plant. I'm just gonna have to leave it like this. I'm also gonna grab this landscape up light. Oh, I didn't put it outside. I've been using this a lot lately because I think it looks so cool. I'm gonna place it a couple times out here. Here, and I think I want to try placing it inside the house. I'll put it here. That's our entryway and our living room and we're gonna move on to the bathroom. People always want that privacy. So here's some nice plain curtains. And you know what? Just for some extra privacy, I'm also gonna put classic shutters. I'm just gonna place them on every single window because it kind of look nice. What I was thinking is that our toilet can go here. Our sink will be here and maybe we could put a bathtub. Bathtub right in front of the window. I'm gonna use this backlit mirror. It's not that bad. I'm also gonna put this toilet paper right here. We need some towel hangers. We're gonna place it one two now an inset won't really fit behind here but we could put like a bookshelf the plain rectangular shelf fits kind of nicely i'm gonna put toilet paper up here okay i can't have them too close to each other maybe toothbrush now i'll put the toothbrush on the sink i know what we could do we could put soap this is also empty and that bugs me can i actually put an oak shelf it looks like i can we're gonna put a bunch of face masks and i have to rotate each one and you know what i'm gonna put some more toilet paper you can never have enough toilet paper <laughs> I guess that's it for the bathroom. Now we're gonna move on to our kitchen. This is why I'm scared of the kitchen. Fridge kinda goes there. I guess the stove can be right here. I'm gonna grab these vine plants. I'm gonna put them over the fridge. We can put our kitchen sink here. I'm grabbing this plant, I'm gonna put it here, make it look like it's not abruptly ending. It is abruptly ending. This is so empty. You know what? I didn't need this area to be a dining area because we have enough room for a dining area here. Yeah, we're gonna put the dining table there. Here's our new dining area. Listen, it works. Things fit. Toaster, coffee maker. Maker, blender. I want to put sticky notes here. I feel like that's silly, but I'm going to do it anyways. It's like grocery related stuff. This is our kitchen. And now we're going to move on to the bedroom. I'm going to use the curved single bed. No, it's in the way of the door. I can put it over here though. I'll use the hairpin nightstand. I'm just going to focus on getting the essentials because it's a no game pass house. I don't know if we can fit everything without a problem. I guess a simplicity wardrobe. And I guess we could squeeze a dresser here. Maybe it's a fancy tall dresser. Yeah. If we're going to use the fancy stuff, maybe I should use a fancy wardrobe. Here it is. All we need is an alarm clock, a vase, another carpet, one shelving, two shelving, and then a mirror in the middle. Should I just use another vanity mirror? Why not? We're gonna put makeup here. The stylish chair fits here. I didn't expect it to fit, but it does. This actually looks like a desk. Oh, we could put books. They fit. That's good. I can't put more though. What else do I put here? Those books look so sad. Maybe other books. Can these fit? No? Okay. I guess in that case, I'll just use a cactus. Yeah. I'm gonna give them the panel curtains. I like how see-through they are. <laughs> this is a nice simple bedroom. I like it. I guess I've taped photographs 
It won't let me put it right here. Is there some, oh, is it because there's a tree there? Tree? This is the no game pass bedroom. And now we have this corner. This was meant to be our dining area, but now it's not. So I'm just going to turn it into an office. We're going to grab the fancy desk, combine it with the stylish chair. I'm going to give them a pairing tosh. I really like saying pairing tosh. It sounds nice. <laughs> like it scratches my head every time I'm like pairing tosh. I know it's this portable DJ speaker, but I keep thinking it's a microphone. And then I grab it and I'm like, oh, that is definitely not a microphone. <laughs> one oak shelf, two oak shelf. Axon wall, another one. Okay, why not? I'm going to grab another fancy tall dresser because I really like how, what, where did it go? I hate it when that happens, <laughs> but that's our office. Now moving on to the backyard. We're not going to do anything too crazy here. You know, I like how different these two styles are. I'm trying to make use of this box head. It's not working the way I want it to. Let's put a swing. I'm going to grab a bunch of random items from here and put them in the backyard just to be like, yeah, I fully decorated it. Well-mounted garden hose. I don't know. This hydra, whatever, bush is actually kind of nice. Lawn mower. I think this is becoming one of my better backyards. Stepping stone. I'm adding dirt piles for some reason around the tree. It's letting me. Oh, no, wait. When did that happen? Wait, when did I press that? Okay, undo, undo it. I'm going to undo everything. No joke. And I'm going to try to place everything again. I'm so sorry. I just noticed that this was off. I think it only came off when I started doing the garden though. I think picking out very random garden stuff is helping this garden look good. Time to redo the garden. <laughs> a nice training bike. On the bright side, it's letting me place a lot of the stuff that I already placed. I think I might have mispressed it because I was pressing J to change the grid and J and K are like next to each other. And if you don't know, if you press K, you toggle this on and off. So I think that's when I accidentally misclicked it. I'm so sorry for nearly making this a game pass house. I need to make it so when I do this challenge, if I press K or something on accident, nothing happens to like never mess up on the challenge. That's, that's the only way I can see myself never messing up. I cannot resize this rock. This stone is also way too big. There's no rocks that you can use in a no game pass house. They're all way too big. We're just going to put flowers instead. I think that's the backyard. I think that's done. The total cost of our no game pass suburban house is a hundred and oh wait, probably not 162. <laughs> I got confused. There's another house here. I'm going to show you on the screen how much it costs. Here are the surroundings of the house. I like the backyard, honestly. This was out of my comfort zone and I think it turned out nice. I like doing no game pass challenges. I think my only concern is just my keybinds, like accidentally pressing K or V. Maybe blocking my keyboard or removing those keys off my keyboard. Maybe that would be good. And then I would never mess up again. <laughs> That's all for today. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications. Love you guys so much. Bye.